Welcome back to Consider This. Today we're talking about youth and mission. Can you be active? Should you be active? Guys, we, we had good insight from Pastor Apollos. Yeah. The mm. youth mission, all of us should serve and bring people to Christ. Yeah. But let's make it practical. How do we do it? I like the fact that he said we need to find um, people who are already going out. Yeah. Because for me, I'm, I'm really stuck. Mm. You know, I want to help, but I can't. Um, I don't have resources. I don't have tools. I don't have, I'm not mm. able. But if I find a group, there must yes. be a group somewhere near mm. me because I have Christian friends. Mm. So there should be someone doing missionary work. So what I do, exactly. I do if I join onto them and cling onto them, then I can help them do missionary yeah, work. Yeah, or cool. see what they're doing, maybe start your own thing. Yeah. If, if it's possible. If it's possible. But I think as well, when we were speaking about the resources problem, your God, I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard of witnesses or testimonies of people. Our God has just provided for money. Yeah. I don't think, like we forget... This is his mission, God's mm. mission. And he's going to provide for that. We're just like the tools. So we're not going to be like, oh God, please provide. Because it's in his will. That's very true. We should pray. But, but it is in his will. If it's for salvation of souls, then he will provide. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think sometimes we, we get stuck in a rut and we think this is the only way that we should do it. Yeah. Um, I have a friend that was a missionary. And they had a very creative way of doing mission and they were very service orientated where he'd tell me about how they would just get a guy from off the street and go for a milkshake wow. and just sit and chat and just like, hey, wow. how are you doing? What, what, what? And get to know him, you know, or they would go and s bake a cake and then take it to somebody that's, they'll find somebody whose birthday is and give it to them <laughs> with, a, say, a verse like random, it, you know, wow. and kind of just spark up a conversation, okay, and get to know people like that. Hmm. Or maybe just go to an old lady's house where yeah. you know she, she's a bit sickly and she can't cut her own grass or whatever, and you go and do a garden for her right. service, you know, and then they'll be like, wow, these yeah. young people are different. But I think we, we get so stuck in, I have to preach or whatever. Yes, exactly. Yes, that's very true. Uh, and I think we as young people, we, we, we know the internet and the media. We know how to work with these things. I mean, the internet is such a, a great right. tool. I mean, if you think of all the social networks there are, if you send messages or um, just something small on that, that can kind of just spark yes. something with someone, that is a great tool right. as well. Right. Now, as youth... We should go out, right? Mm -hmm. We should serve people and we should salvation of souls. That's the, the main purpose. Yeah. What does it mean? Do you think there's any preparation that we should do before we go out? Yeah, I think, like you said, you should be saved yourself. You know the story of the woman at the well um, where Jesus comes to speak to her and, and she realizes this is the Messiah and, and she knows, or he knows about my past, mm. but he can help me with it. And he wants to give me something more. He says, I want to give you the living water. Mm. And she was so excited that afterwards she went out and she told everyone. It's as if it was like explosion. Right. But she couldn't go on this mission telling other people if she didn't meet Jesus, if she didn't see, yeah. yo, he can really help mm. me. Yeah. And so I think we need, we need an experience, a real experience with Jesus. And once you get a real experience, you can't help but tell. Yeah. yeah. You once it's like it's it's almost too good to be true. So you need to you you want to spread the, yes. the word around. And and like you were saying earlier about um, not having the resources. Sometimes we feel that we we don't know what to say. Um, I was reading a book and the the author said that that we are helpless, but Christ connects us with infinite power. Right. Mm. And um, he's he has all authority. I mean, right. he has the storehouse of heaven. Mm -hmm. So he will provide, like you said, it's his mission. Yes. Sometimes he'll give you the words. Right. Uh, he'll lead you yes, to the right chapter exactly. right. to read in the Bible or he'll give you what you need. Right. You should just be close to him once again. And, and we've seen this throughout our whole program, mm -hmm. the whole series. Be close to God, go to God and he will lead you. He will direct you. Yeah. And that's why it's so exciting because it's God's work. It's his adventure. For, okay, I don't know what's going to happen next, mm. but God yeah. knows. Yeah. Yes. And, and he's going to lead me and it's, it's going to be an adventure. And you know what? It's not just a story. I know of, I'm, I've seen people who get like, they need the money and it comes. Mm. And the money comes through and it actually helps them. Or someone is asked to say, to go and preach and he doesn't know what to preach. And the words come through. God wow. actually provides. Like it's not just a story we're telling, you mm. know. But, but with what I, yeah, we hear a lot of stories, but do we have our own stories? Yeah, that's, that's important. Like, we can't be witnesses of things we haven't seen ourselves. Right. Many times we do that. We're like, I've heard of this person and God provided for him, but he won't provide for mm. me. Yeah. 
and it's true. It's a good I think question. we need yeah we do need to take a leap of faith it's not easy I'm not I I'm one to doubt easily mm. that oh God won't do it for me no should no, we say that faith. Yeah. faith yes in God. and God God rewards our faith he, many times when there were people that were healed in the Bible mm. in the Bible he said but your faith has healed you mm. because he, he saw that that person went no no I trust God and then he says okay well you're healed mm. it's not it's not because of that person's faith that he was healed but the faith was helping him right. yeah. to see how all God can do this. Right. I think sometimes youth as mission, we think we have to go out. Yeah. I think we have to live a mission oriented life. Um, and basically what it boils down to for me is blessed to be a blessing. Okay. God mm -hmm. has blessed me with talent, so I should be a blessing to right. someone. Yes. He has blessed me with money, I should be a blessing to someone else. Right. And um, I was reading another book the other day um, talking about the purpose of the church, not just the youth, but as the church as a whole. And um, the author brought out the topic that um, the church should be a theater of grace. Okay. And I think that's a way we can be missionaries in our church. Um, a lot of young people today feel the church is dead and there's mm -hmm. nothing there for them. A lot of young people leave the church because the church it doesn't have its own. Yeah, yeah. And, and they um, they don't feel wanted or yeah. loved at their church. Yeah. Yeah. And we could be missionaries in our church being cultivating that theater right, of grace, just right. going out there and blessing people, going right. to church, not to receive a blessing, but to be a blessing, Give. going to youth, not to receive a blessing, but to be a blessing, right. you and know, that orientated. I think that's, that's awesome, like working in the church, because a lot of people feel the church is dead, but we should be the church that we want the church to be. Right. Like we can't, you know, we can't just judge and yeah. say, you know, well, ugh, this is just boring and I don't, yeah. you should, you should have that aim and that mission. And that's why we need to have a mission because a lot of people feel like they're purposeless. Mm. And as soon as you give them responsibility, as soon as you tell them, you you lead them, mm. then then they start to blossom and they're like, wow, I can actually do something. Yeah. Right. It's not about them, but just to know that you know, God doesn't need us, but He wants us mm. yeah. and He wants us to do something for Him. And that's important. God doesn't need us, but he, he wants, wants us. us. Sometimes you feel, ah, I can't do this. I feel like a fish out of water. Yes. But then we must know that God, he wants us. He wants us to participate in this. That's he right. wants us to have mission. And exactly. I think that's the, the biggest thing, the biggest blessing that we can have is to, to do this. Yes. Mm. So I think um, with mission, we can see that mission is for salvation of souls mm -hmm. and it's for service. Mm -hmm. And anybody can do it. Right. Mm. The youth, nobody who you are, you can do it. it just, yeah. Thank you guys and thank you for watching. I think you've seen that anybody, you sitting there today, you can be a missionary for God, even at your church, at your house, no matter where you are. If you have any suggestions or you want to contact us, our details are on the screen. Consider this.